Welcome to Tweety's Take. I said that there wasn't much news today on my last video, but just recently I saw a headline reading uh, that Sidney Powell's election lawsuit was thrown out of the Supreme Court. They're not even going to make a ruling or even consider it within their further proceedings. So from what I'm seeing, the Supreme Court is throwing out all election cases. They don't want to have anything to do with it. And that panel is just full of people who are either too scared to, to move or who have been bought off or, or who knows what else is going on. I know that there are some sketchy things with Justice John Roberts. Uh, if you've been following Linwood or other such people who know about his dealings with adoption and, and other, other rings, then you would know that he is into some dark things. Um, there have been whistleblower testimonies against him. There have been other allegations made showing that he's really with, with a cabal of people who are working to undermine our government. And that's about as far as I'll go into it here. But he, he is not someone to be trusted. Despite his, uh, his claim to be conservative, uh, it seems that his interests have, have skewed in a different direction completely. Now, the only person that I really have faith in is Justice Clarence Thomas. He is the only person on that panel who I have seen good things from. He is really trying to stand for the American people. And so for that, he 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 demands my, my respect, absolutely. But the rest of the justices that we brought in have been absolute snakes. And it's really discouraging and disheartening to see that, to see that people are either so afraid of backlash or they are just, they're so corrupt. They're not willing to stand for what is right. I think what we saw this last year was was kind of the left showing their, their power. It was showing what they could do. And they they caused police forces to stand down. They caused the law to be broken completely and never enforced. And then when they were brought into jail, they were released immediately. I actually did a little bit of, of background work to see how these protesters worked. And they have these organizations that they set up. It, it's just grassroots organizations. You know, it's like me, if I'm a mechanic, then I will go ahead and go on to a certain messaging app and say, hey, I'm available if any of you are going to this protest, I can fix your cars for free, just show up. Um, so there are things like that where they have their networks and they say, hey, you need this equipment, go here. If you need this, go here. So they're very well organized. It's just, it's nothing that you see at the forefront. It's all in these back end messaging apps. So it's never going to be out in the public, but they work pretty, pretty well together if you know what to look for. So the left was showing their force all this past year because they knew they were gearing up for something big. I have no doubt that they knew what was going to happen in November and onwards. So then once that happened in November with the election, now all of these justices are, receive death threats. They receive uh, all of these messages sent to them because these people also know how to hack into systems. They know how to receive or to gain personal information and that's how they enforce their rules is they get your personal information and then they start threatening you. They start accessing uh, your friend's information, your school, et cetera, and then they bring that, in, that out into the public and others will not call them out for it because their information is now going to be leaked and the mob is going to be sent to them. And so it's this huge network of people who support each other in corruption and they support each other in corruption through the use of violence and threats and knowing things about other people that would be terrible if they came into the light. So that's how that works. That, that's why we see the suppression of all of the conservative groups. It's because most of the conservative groups, if they're truly, truly standing by their principles, have nothing to hide, absolutely nothing to hide. And so they are not afraid to come out and talk against what they see to speak up because they're not trying to hide their inner demons. And I think that's what we're seeing in our world is the justices, the police officers, all of these politicians have bought into a corrupt system 
and they compromised themselves. They put themselves into a position where they could no longer stand for what was true and right because they know that if they did, they are going to be exposed or they are going to, to suffer the consequences of doing so. And they are not prepared to do that because they are cowardly in nature. If we are to take back our country, if we are to make good laws, we need to be brave and be courageous. And that is what we're missing in America. And that is why we are at where we are now is people have just been seeking for their own personal gains instead of realizing that once you do that, you can no longer uphold the law as much as you need to. And you are standing, uh, you are standing in the way of justice and will come under condemnation. So anyway, that that's my analysis of the situation. And I just wanted to, to, let you know that it, it does not look like the Supreme Court is going to have any hearings or anything at all about the election. While that's expected, while that's something that, uh, after I saw how they responded to the Texas lawsuit just a couple months back, um, or was it even, yeah, it was, I think it was January where they, they just threw out the Texas lawsuit and said they weren't going to listen to it at all, even though it's about election laws being being broken. We knew, I, I knew at least, that they were not going to go through on this. So that, that's, that's the matter there. But we have to take our country back through the local governments. We have to take it back through our local officials and keep on moving upward. And that's how we take back America. Anyway, if you have anything that you'd like to add to the conversation or wanted to talk about things that you have seen and things that have disappointed you, please let me know in the comments below. Also, like the video, share it with others, spread it through the YouTube algorithm. YouTube hates to see videos like this. Thank you for the help. My name is Addison Tweedy. This has been Tweedy's Take, and I will see you next time. Yabashia.